Saint Augustine, commentary on the first letter of John, chapter 2, verse 27 to chapter 3, verse 8, following. This is our life, that by longing we should be exercised. But holy longing exercises us just so much as we prune off our longings from the love of the world. We have already said, empty out that which is to be filled. With good you are to be filled, pour out the bad. Suppose that God would fill you with honey. If you are full of vinegar, where will you put the honey? That which the vessel bore in it must be poured out. The vessel itself must be cleansed, must be cleansed, albeit with labor, albeit with hard rubbing, that it may become fit for that thing, whatever it be. Let us say honey, say gold, say wine, whatever we say it is, being that which can be said, whatever we would fain say, it is called God. And when we say God, what have we said? Is that one syllable the whole of that we, of that we look for? So then, whatever we, had, we have had power to say is beneath him. Let us stretch ourselves unto him, that when he shall come, he may fill us. For we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he is. And everyone has her, and everyone that has his hope in him. You see how he has set us our place in hope. You see how the apostle Paul agrees with his fellow apostle, by hope we are saved. But hope that is unseen is not hope. For what a man sees, why does he hope for? For if what we see not we hope for, by patience we wait for it. Romans chapter 8 verse 24 and 25. This very patience exercises desire. You continue, for he continues, and you persevere in walking, that you may reach the goal. For that to which you tend will not remove. See, and everyone that has this hope in him purifies himself even as, as he is pure. See how he has not taken away free will, in that he said purifies himself. Who purifies us but God? Ye, but God does not purify you if you be unwilling. Therefore, in that you join your will to God, in that you purify yourself. You purify yourself not by yourself, but by him who comes to inhabit you. Still, because you do somewhat therein by the will, therefore is, someone at, is somewhat attributed to you. But it is attributed to you only to the end, you should say, as in the psalm, Be you my helper, Forsake me not. Psalm 27, verse 11. If you say, Be you my helper, you do somewhat. But if you be doing nothing, how should he be said to help you? Everyone that does sin does also iniquity. Let no man say sin is one thing, iniquity another. Let no man say I am a sinful man, but not a doer of iniquity. For everyone that does sin does also iniquity. Sin is iniquity. Well then, what are we to do concerning sins and iniquities? Hear what he said. And you know that he was manifested to take away sin, and sin in him is not. He in whom sin is not, the same is come to take away sin. 
For where there is sin in him, it must be taken away from him, nor he takes it away himself. Whosoever abides in him sins not. In so far as he abides in him, in so far sins not. Whosoever sins has not seen him, neither known him. A great question this. Whosoever sins has not seen him, neither known him. No marvel. We have not seen him but are to see, have not known him but are to know. We believe on one we have not known, or happily by faith we have known, and by actual beholding have not yet known. But in faith we have both seen and known. For if faith does not yet see, why are we said to have been enlightened? There is an enlightening by faith and an enlightening by sight. At present, while we are on pilgrimage, we walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7 or actually beholding. Therefore, also our, our righteousness is by faith, not by sight. Our righteousness shall be perfect when we shall see by actual beholding. Only in the meanwhile, let us not leave that righteousness which is of faith, since the just does live by faith. Romans chapter 1 verse 17 As said the Apostle, Whosoever abides in him sins not, for whosoever sins has not seen him, neither known him. That man who sins believes not. But if a man believes so far as pertains to his faith, he sins not. Little children, let no man seduce you. He that does righteousness is righteous as he is righteous. 1, 1 John chapter 3 verse 7 What on hearing that we are righteous as he is righteous, are we to think ourselves equal with God? You must know what means that as. Thus he said a while ago, purifies himself even as he is pure. Then is our purity like and equal to the purity of God, and our righteousness to God's righteousness? Who can say this? But the word as is not always wont to be used in the sense of equality. As for example, if, having seen this large church, a person should wish to build a smaller church, but with the same relative dimensions. As, for example, if this be one measure in width and two measures in length, he too should build his church one measure in width and two measures in length. In that case, one sees that he has built it as this is built. But this church has, say, a hundred cubits in length, the other thirty. It is at once as this and yet unequal. You see that this as is not always referred to parity and equality. For example, see what a difference there is between the face of a man and its image from a mirror. There is a face in the image, a face in the body. The image exists in imitation, the body in reality. And what do we say? Why, as there are eyes here, so also there, as ears here, so ears also there. The thing is different, but the as is said of the resemblance. Well then, we also have in us the image of God, but not, but not that which the Son equal with the Father has. Yet except we also According to our measure, whereas he, we should in no respect be said to be like him. He purifies us then even as he is pure. But he is pure from eternity, 
we pure by faith. We are righteous even as he is righteous, but he is so in his immutable perpetuity, we righteous but by believing on one we do not see, that so we may one day see him. Even when our righteousness shall be perfect, when we shall be equal to the angels, not even then shall it be equal with him. How far then is it from him now, when not even then it shall be equal?